G'day, Rick here and in this video we're going to have a look at recording time using Obsidian and integrating it with your daily notes. So keeping a record of the time spent on projects can be useful in many different ways. Have you ever had one of those days where you've been absolutely flat out and get to the end of it and can't remember what you've done? I certainly have. And, and of course, some of us also sell time, so it's important to record your time from that point of view so that you can account for it to clients or any projects that you're working on. And another area where it is worthwhile too is where you are volunteering because often the time spent volunteering can be used as an in-kind contribution for, for grant applications. So well worthwhile keeping a track there too. So the system that I'm going to show you in, in this video is one that has served me quite well and I've been quite happy with it. Uh, obviously, you know, that things can always be improved, but I, I use it, I reflect on it in my daily notes. Uh, I can go back at time in, in the past and have a look at what's happened on particular days as well. And it's always very useful. And sometimes it even sparks a new note uh, when I'm completing the daily note. So let's have a look at how to integrate Obsidian with a time tracker called Toggle for free. And hope you enjoy the video. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing to do is to head over to uh, toggle.com, which is T-O-G-G-L. There you go, there's the, uh, the URL there. And then click on either Start Tracking for Free or Try Toggle. And that will allow you to set up your account. Now, Toggle has a paid version, which provides a considerable amount of detail on time tracking. But I've found personally for my own use, I don't, I don't need the paid version. The free one gives me plenty of information. So if we go there for Start Tracking for Free, and you can then sign up with Google, Apple, or an email, etc. So I'll get logged in and come back and show you what it looks like on the inside. Now Toggle Track has a browser extension that works in both Chrome and Firefox. There doesn't seem to be any mention of, of uh, an access point for a Safari one, so I'm not sure if, uh, if that one might be available for Safari. You may have to check that. Uh, and if you install that, this icon up here is the one for Toggle Time Tracker and has access to the site. So I can do all the time tracking from within the browser, set that up, but it'll still going, it'll still end up going to Obsidian. Don't worry about that. So you can use, use this anywhere. And in addition to that, uh, Toggle also has a app that you can actually load or have loaded when your computer starts. Uh, and I'll show you how to find that one next. So the next little process here is to install the desktop app or the web app. Um, and you would just simply go to the Toggle website under product. And then on the right hand side here, you can see you can download the web app, mobile apps, desktop apps. There's also uh, over 100 integrations with a whole lot of different programs. If you just click on here, you can see uh, Evernote, Google Calendar, uh, Outlook Calendar. Salesforce, Notion, Slack, lots of them, lots and lots of stuff. So you certainly won't be left out in the cold as far as being able to integrate it with other applications that you might be using. Okay, so now we're ready to start setting things up a little bit. Uh, so if you log in, and I'm logged into my account here now, as you can see, and the first thing you need to do is probably in your settings down the bottom here on the left hand side is to set up a name of your workspace. So this has just got my name and workspace because uh, you'll find that you'll be asked for that when you set up the Obsidian plugin. And the other thing that you'll need is in your profile settings um, down, down the bottom here, right down the bottom is an API token which you can which is generated automatically and you just have to click to reveal it. So you'll need to copy that and keep it handy because again, that'll need to be put in to your um, Obsidian plugin when that's set up. Uh, I've got Google sign in enabled and I've also integrated my Google calendar uh, with, with, with Toggle. You can, you can see here that it, you can out integrate an Outlook calendar as well. So that will give you some idea of being able to keep the time around. Now, there's one thing that I should mention here, and that's with regard to projects. One of the reasons that you've got the browser app loaded or the browser extension loaded 
uh, and also the um, desktop app is because it's only in the desktop app and here in the toggle website that you can actually add a project so if you go to projects you can put add a new project here but you can also do that on the desktop app but not from within obsidian plugin or not from within the browser extension so that's why you need access to both of those things if you're going to be setting up new projects on a reasonably regular basis well, now it's time to install the toggle plugin into obsidian so you go down the bottom left hand corner to settings click on that up here to community plugins turn off restricted mode if you happen to have it on browse your community plugins put in toggle and that will come up and show the plugin here toggle track is the one that we're after as you can see mine's already installed so I click on that you would normally have to enable it uh, I don't use hotkeys uh, and then there's lots of information there about um, the the plugin and also uh, links to the documentation and it also has an integration with quick add that you might be interested in if you use the quick add um, the quick add um, plugin now if you go to the options that will then take you to the areas where you need to install your API key you'll use the connect but these probably should be in the other order you need to make sure that your workspace is entered there and you remember you set that up earlier then connect the two and then uh, real time daily total I leave that on and then you are ready to go with the plugin and recording it so I'll just close that down now here on the right hand side pane of the columns on my obsidian you can see that this is toggle working and it's giving me a list, a list or a summary of what I've worked on today and what projects so it's always there and that's where it can be accessed but as, a, as I say remember you can't set up a new project from within here but you can start older projects either by using this or of course with the, uh, the palette toggle um, which is there, toggle track, start the timer or stop the timer. And they're the things that you can put on a hot goose if you wish to do so. So that's the installation of the plugin. In your daily note, you can add activities for the week or the day uh, using toggle's query language, which was quite simple. It's all in the documentation. So in my daily note, I've got my activities for the last week at the, as the first thing in my daily note. And I'll just click on the code there, show you that it's just toggle, T-O-G-G-L, summary, past seven days, and your three little carrots there um, uh, to, to do it. And, and then that will work and bring that in directly from the toggle website. Same thing for today. Uh, here's today's time, what happened today. It's got my, uh, what, what I did and there is the code there again it's just list today and group by project and you can there's a number of other options that you can see you just just have to look at those that uh, the code the query language for toggle in the plugin documentation you're then ready to go and start recording your time well there you go that's pretty much how to use toggle and put it in with the obsidian help track your time keep a record keep yourself organized and improve your productivity we hope uh, it's a good good way of keeping track of habits um, and reminding you of what you have done particularly when you look at your daily note each day if you've got it integrated in that way so below the video here in the show notes i'm going to give you a link to an article that i've written to provide perhaps some more explanation around it and also links to the toggle track um, website so that you can follow that through. So I hope this has been a help to you and you enjoyed it. Cheers!